might be my first and only time that I film outside. This is what I get for trying to have a pretty background, okay? Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the makeup that I travel with. Unfortunately, it is incredibly windy outside. I apologize, I do not have a microphone yet, but I was really just, I think that this background's really pretty, so I really wanted to film with it in background. And as I mentioned, this is the makeup that I travel with and I'm traveling, so I figured it made sense rather than like trying to put something together and pretend like it's the makeup that I travel with. Anyway, um, as I mentioned, my name is Hannah. I post beauty videos every Monday and Friday. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe um, and hit the bell notification so that way you'll get notified whenever I post. As I mentioned, I post beauty videos every Monday and Friday. And I apologize if this is incredibly annoying. I will try to get a microphone soon. So I, let me just preface this. Like I did bring, I'm gone for four days and I'm aware that I kind of did bring a lot of makeup by some people's means, but here's the thing. I love doing makeup. It's like one of my favorite things that I do in the day. So yeah, this trip, I actually traveled with these two bags with my makeup and then I had a brush roll of my eye makeup supplies. So I kind of did kind of break it up. It probably would fit in this bag, maybe, like at least most of it, but it would just be really, really full and I feel like it'd be hard to find things. And then this bag, it just says Glam Squad. I got this from my friend Sarah as a gift. I'm pretty sure it was from Marshalls. I'm pretty sure. And I have uh, most of my face makeup in here. I have this brush roll, which I actually got in my Fall Fab Fit Fun. So the first thing that I see in here is my Cetaphil. I think that's how it's pronounced. This is just my moisturizer that I use every morning. Then next up, I have my Holy Grail foundation. I actually filmed a video back on, about this back in the day, like, Few months ago i really really like this foundation i have been using it for well over a year prop maybe like a year and a half i'm not sure exactly when i started using this but i love this foundation then also i have my tarte shape tape i am in the shade fair neutral my foundation's in the shade 1.5 just for anyone who's curious i recently started using this and it does unfortunately get kind of messy easily but i love this concealer i use it under my eyes and also i can use it for covering up blemishes but also i have another concealer that i brought specifically for covering up blemishes this is the benefit boing industrial strength concealer oh cool i wasn't even filming that Another thing that I bring is my eye cream, of course. I think it's really good to use an eye cream, and this is the Pharmacy Do-It-All Eye Cream. Yeah, cool, it's just recording. I had to double check that. I really, really like this. I got this in my Fall Fab Fit Fun box. I highly recommend it. I use these two items. This is my Becca Evermatt Primer. I actually like using primers. I'm finding out, like, I have a few options, but I just really, really like this one. I got this eye product in a BoxyCharm. I believe it was the October Boxy, but I do really like it. I'm glad that I got it. And then for setting my face right now, I'm using this Ciate London. I got this in my Ipsy bag. I use this to set my under eyes. It's just a translucent powder. And then for setting my face all over, I use the Urban Decay All Nighter, all -nighter Setting Powder. I really, really like this. I, for my bronzer, I use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. Nothing new here. I love this bronzer, as you can tell. It's very well loved, very well used. Um, the only blush that I brought was this Tarte Insightful Amazonian Clay 12 Hour. Yeah, Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. This is a really, really pretty blush. Becca Opal Highlighter, nothing new here either. I'm still loving this highlighter. It looks like this, very, very pretty. Brought my setting spray. This is the only thing that is kind of like travel in this. I just poured a lot. Why is this so dirty? I just poured my full size product into this. I have a travel size bottle as well. I cannot, of course, I cannot travel without this. And then the brush that I use to apply my eye powder that I'm pretty sure that I just dropped. So I'll have to get that later. Cool, my hands are freezing. And for mascara, I brought my eyelash curler, of course. And then for mascara, I brought my It Cosmetics Super Hero Mascara and then the travel size of the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. I just have like a little bit more to use that up. Today I used both of these. You know I love these both mascara, both of these mascaras. And then, then I have a couple lip products like I'm going to show you. So the rest in this bag is lip products. And my trip is only four days. Yeah, I had some lip products in my purse just because I carry a couple in there. So I just put everything in here and I'm just going to really quickly go through all of the lip products that I brought 
anyway, I just, I wanted options, okay? Like I'm aware that this is not a practical thing for only a four day trip. Nor I have two lip liners. I have, they're both Urban Decay 24 seven lip liners. I love these lip liners. This is just the shade Naked and then this is the shade Rush. And then I have some more Urban Decay products because you know Urban Decay is my favorite brand. I have this Urban Decay liquid lipstick in the shade Amulet, and then I have two Urban Decay lipsticks in the shade Rush. Back talk, my bad. So I did not know that I had both of these until I saw that they were both in my purse. Oops, normally I would not travel with both of these. There's absolutely no need to have two of the same lipstick on a four day trip. I'm aware of the situation. But I do really, really like this lipstick. I think it's a great, I treat it more like a nude. It's kind of like a mauve color. I really, really like this one. And then I just got a smaller size um, with like one of my Urban Decay All Nighter, no, Naked Skin Foundation purchases because I get that online. So that's why I have two. I'm aware you do not need to. I'm not that crazy, just a little bit. And then the rest of my lip products are all kind of variations of this maroon color you know you can't just have one well maroon or nude so this is a tarte lip paint in the shade loki yep and then this is mac lipstick in the shade velvet teddy i like layering these together i really really like this lipstick this is a bite beauty lip crayon in the shade glacé this is a another tarte lip paint in the shade bling that's what i have on my lips today by the way i have bling and then over top of it it's pretty much the same color um, I have this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Budapest, very, very pretty. And then I also have this lip gloss, this Clinique lip gloss in the shade Bonfire. I don't wear lip glosses too much, but I did want to bring this because I think that this would be really pretty over this lipstick as well. So that is everything that I carry in this main pouch. So next, moving on, I want to go into this pouch, which I keep my eye products in, like my eyeshadow and that kind of thing. I know my mascara was in there, but in my mind it makes sense so let me show you what I carry in this bag. I did bring two eyeshadow palettes. I brought the Dream Street Kathleen Lights um, ColourPop collaboration. I really really like this palette and then I brought the Tarte Love Trust and Fairy Dust palette. I have done videos on both of these. I will link them down below. I really really like them both. Really pretty neutral colors with a few color options. Also in this I have this Tarte Chrome Shadow Paint which my friend Sarah, love you Sarah, recently gave me this is in the shade top yacht which it looks like this this is a stunning color I have it all over my lids and then I also have it um I have that opal highlighter and then I have this over top of the highlighter which like this is a very intense highlighter so you do have to kind of um blend it definitely very well but I'll just kind of swatch this really quickly for you like so so pretty thank you so much Sarah so I have this all over my lid and then I also have the Love Trust and Fairy Dust palette on my eyes as well. Of course I have my eyeshadow primer in here. You know I would not do an eyeshadow look without this primer. I mentioned that in almost every video. It's the Smashbox shadow primer. I love this stuff. Um, I also have a few brushes in here. This is actually the brush that I use to apply my Tarte Shape Tape under my eyes. I think it's really, really good, especially which I got in my Etsy bag. I use that to apply eyeshadow underneath my lids today. I have this little spoolie that I can use to comb my brows. And then this little brush that I use to apply my brow powder. The brow powder that I have is from Sleek Cosmetics. I got it from TJ Maxx a while ago. This is just like what the inside looks. This is actually a cream formula and I don't really use that too much. I mostly just use this powder and I find that it works out great for me. And then the last thing in this little bag is just this little baby trial size of the Benefit Cosmetics Gimme Brow. I do still want to get a full size of this. I'm just not sure when I'm going to get it, but I have the shade number three. Then next, I'm just going to quickly show you my brush roll. This is from Crown. As I mentioned, I got it in my FabFitFun box. This is what it looks like on the inside. I definitely did maximize using this because like there aren't as many holes as brushes that I put in here. Like I doubled up the brushes here. And this is the brush that I use every day for foundation. It's the It Brush for Com. It brushes for Ulta. These are just two Sigma brushes. This is the F20 that I use for powder. This is the F23 that I use for contour. And then I just have eye brushes over here. So that's just kind of an overview of my brush roll. 
I really like how this closes up. I know it doesn't fit all of my brushes in it, but I do find that this is great for traveling and I don't mind having other brushes in my bags as well. It doesn't really bother me too much. So that is the makeup that I bring whenever I travel. I'm sorry it was kind of rushed, like I was talking kind of fast. That's a combination of the fact that I had a lot of coffee before filming this video and it's in the 50s and I'm from Florida, so I'm kind of cold and it's windy. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is Hannah. As I mentioned, I post beauty videos every Monday and Friday. Thanks again for watching. If you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video.